Now, there's a war going on with Israel, uh, the whole Palestine situation. Um, Israel started it. Yeah, Israel started that war. I seen, you know what, you, you, because to be honest, man, I'm so busy. Uh, I didn't really know. I seen you break down the whole situation from like, you get, you damn near gave me the whole history of the whole shit. Yeah. Uh, um, and, uh. You know, there's a lot of celebs from Meek Mill, LeBron James, Floyd Mayweather um, that's speaking out about it. I think even Floyd is sending food and a whole jet of a, a whole care package over there. Um, but you voiced out to certain celebs like Meek Mill. You said Meek needs to worry about the kids in Philly. Uh, um, no, no, no. I, I didn't say that. I said uh, the only. Oh, my, my apologies. My apologies. Uh, I said Meek, Meek compared the kids. In the hood, he said, he said, I grew up seeing kids shot in the hood, which was bad, but it's nothing like watching babies get blowed up. Well, Meek, you ain't seen no motherfucking baby get blowed up. You lying, nigga. They ain't showed us not one video of a blowed up baby. So you don't run with this propaganda. This is propaganda. And you saying it's nothing like seeing babies get blowed up. What you think them bullets do, nigga, when they hit them babies? Blow their little asses up, blow off a limb, blow out a patch of meat, flesh. It's the same thing. Death is death. Right? So he go on to say some, some, some more other things, and I'm saying to myself, man, you only saying that because them white boys had you bunny hopping with, them, with, with that linen suit on with no drawers. So the only reason you saying that. White boy had you on the tennis court. Man, you know you can't wear fine linen like that, nigga. You got a nigga deal. And you around billionaire. Man, that's the only reason he doing that. And then Robert Kraft went and got him out of jail. So I'm saying to myself, okay. Man, I love Floyd Mayweather to death. Man, I love that nigga to death. I fuck with LeBron. I'm saying, where are these niggas, homie? For our people. For our people. Nigga, all the motherfucking police shootings, all the black on black shootings, all the pain that black people deal with and go through in America. Where I playing it? They ain't never sent one plane to now hood nowhere. No bulletproof vest, nowhere. No, nobody, nigga. What about Tamir Rice? What about baby Tamir Rice? Not one, my nigga. So are everybody pro-Israel. Well, let's look at this shit. They want us to believe that Israel is right all the time. They're never wrong. Where was this support nigga for Kyrie Irving? Yeah. Nigga, what was this same kind of support? Nigga, Chicago just had 53 shot. Yeah. We got a war zone in Chirac. We got a war zone in the rap world, nigga. Baby's really dying. Lil' Bibby. Tuka. Jojo. It's been going on for 10 years. Where's the plane for them? So, why is there so much support for Israel? What makes Israel so special? We don't believe in God like that. And, and what makes America come to the defense of Israel? When we're already spread it thin from the Iraq war, the war in Afghanistan, we're, we're sending... We we we, we finna send another hundred billion dollars in aid, ninety billion to Ukraine, ten billion to Israel. Why don't they just wipe our student loans out then? They ain't got to give us no aid. Just wipe our student loans out. But they can send hundreds of billions of dollars over there 
to a country that's oppressing another country. Israel is oppressing Palestine, homie. They went and took them people land. And I'm telling black people. Who promotes more black destruction than the Jewish community by way of hip hop and entertainment? The movies that they choose to put us in don't depict us in the best light. So the narratives and the propaganda that the Jews uses in, in hip hop music and, and, and by way of hip hop movies and videos is the same exact things that Hitler used to start the destruction of the Jews. Propaganda, movies, television, music. That's how Hitler got everybody in Germany. So, OK, yeah, them Jews ain't no good. So the same thing that Hitler did to them, they are doing to us with our music. That's why King Von is so up revered amongst the Jewish population. That's why the kids were smoking on Tuka, because they had no concern for Miss Dominique. Tuka's mother, Tuka's sister, who had to be put into the mental hospital. Could they? Come on, homie. Come on, homie. Nigga Drake promoted homosexuality like a motherfucker. Girls love girls where I'm from. They played that on, on, on morning radio while we took our kids to school. Who controls the radio programming and what we hear? The Jewish community. So why? Would we be in such an uproar? Hey, we want to support the Jews. If you know history, you would not dare support the Jews. You would not dare support the Jews if you really understood history and what's going on with this conflict. America have never been right in no war. Except Pearl Harbor. We haven't been right in no war. Other than Pearl Harbor. And that's because we was attacked. America has been at war for almost 300 years, at least 274 years. We have not not been at war. So we just came out of a hectic war, homie. That motherfucking Iraqi war. Did a number on our country. Not to mention the Afghanistan war. We lost. We was ran out of Afghanistan. They gave us an ultimatum. Y'all better be gone. And we ran. Af we left Afghanistan, homie. Not only did we run out of there with our army and soldiers, we left tri trillions, billions of dollars worth of military equipment that now these people got and can use against us. So now we done joined in into the Russian and the Ukrainian war. They don't they can't forgive our student loans. Think about how much money uh, they done sent in aid just to Ukraine alone. That go our reparation. How can we have so much care and concern for for people overseas? Uh, nigga ain't got no concern for black people. So. Nah, homie, uh, I stand with Palestine because I know the truth uh, and I don't never want to. I don't never want to. I don't never want to stand wrong knowing I'm wrong, thinking I'm right. Knowing I'm wrong. And that's what our celebrities are doing. They know they wrong, homie, thinking they right. 